look at Eduardo Aparecido now, the 28-year-old. Another one of those guys, J-Dub, that kept a score, declined his re-ride in round number one. So basically, it's eight seconds or bust for his attempt here. Yeah, he's got to he's got to make it count here and get in there. Um, again, you know, if something happens and he's got a low score, well then he's coming in behind the eight ball down in that draft. Going to get one that's going to be harder to ride. Uh, if he comes down, don't look for him in that championship round. Now he's now he's a plum event behind. Kaiki Pacheco has been our number one this year longer than anybody else. Last year it was Eduardo for reasons like these rides. This year a winner in Glendale. This is what this guy's capable of. Stacking up 90 point rides back to back. This is a guy that can make a run at him if he'll just put the effort out and try to put the numbers behind it. Nampa of 2014, where we will be next week, was his first ever Premier Series win. He's gone on to have seven different event wins throughout his career. Three of those were last season and the one that we just showed you in Glendale. I think if you had to pick a strong suit for Eduardo, it's just been his consistency, hasn't it, over the years? S slow and steady Eddie. Uh, that's, it, that's him. He, not over flashy, flamboyant of a character, you know, not that flashy of a style, but when you run the rank ones in, he slips in there on the radar. Nobody expects him, you know, over media with him. He just kind of quietly yeah. sneaks in there. You don't, not one that has a lot of uh, talk about him, but you look up and he's always right in the running for something. Well, and I think last year showed all of us that he can handle the pressure, right? I mean, he won not only, uh, as I look at my notes, not only Iron Cowboy, but Kansas City and Jacksonville last year. It was that win in Iron Cowboy that moved him to the number one position, and he even admitted it. There's the nine. Millennium needed to bring a lot more than that. To get fast steady onto the ground, we've got our first rider two for two. Well, and now he's looking at, you know, maybe getting in that championship round, but where is it going to put him in that championship round when all the other guys that placed higher in those go-arounds, uh, where is he going to be at in that draft? Will he get the bull that he wants in that draft? Uh, it's not necessarily the one he wants. It's the one he may need because he can ride them all. No question he will be in the championship round because with only 14 qualified rides in round number one, with two scores now, he will definitely be in the top 15. Our next guy can only hope that he ends up in the top 15.